Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Thursday, July 30th, 2015. We have another muggy morning on the way. However, the good news is that the heat and the humidity, well, at least the humidity, is going to be coming to an end. And with that, unfortunately, we're going to be dealing with some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. But I don't think any of them are going to be all that severe. So we'll talk about that in just a moment. Temperatures this morning range from the upper 60s to lower 70s over the northern interior and the northwestern suburbs. Over the New York City and Philadelphia metro, temperatures range from the upper 70s to lower 80s already, showing you just how hot and humid it is out there already. And then right along the coast, we have temperatures in the lower to mid 70s. Overall, a very muggy morning in place. We have winds from the southwest at around 5 miles per hour and some areas of patchy fog with visibility anywhere from 1 to 2 miles in a few locations. Most locations though are dealing with scattered cloud cover. We do have a cold front on the way and you can see that cold front right here with the showers and thunderstorms developing over western Pennsylvania already. These showers and thunderstorms will reach eastern Pennsylvania by around 2 p.m. and move through the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area between 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. this evening with the potential for some heavy downpours, occasional to frequent lightning, and wind gusts over 40 miles per hour. There is an isolated shot for a severe thunderstorm here, but this is not going to be a widespread severe threat. Most of the showers and thunderstorms will generally stay below severe levels. On the latest infrared satellite picture, you can see that cold front approaching the region now is currently over the Ohio River Valley and up through the St. Lawrence River Valley. This cold front will move through this evening and exit the region by about 9, 10 p.m. over eastern Connecticut and eastern Long Island. For the most part, what we're looking at with this cold front is a drop in humidity. Temperatures, you're really not going to see all that much of a difference. Uh, temperatures generally in the upper 80s to lower 90s throughout the region for tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. But you'll, what you'll notice is that the dew points will be significantly lower. For example, for this afternoon, dew points are going to be in the lower 70s ahead of this cold front, just like yesterday, which led to a pretty impressive uh, heat index. However, for this weekend, dew points are generally range from the upper 50s to lower 60s, which is significantly drier. And believe me, you'll definitely feel the difference between temperatures around 90 and a dew point around 60 as opposed to temperatures around 90 and a dew point around 77. You're definitely going to notice the difference uh, as far as that. So that's what we're pretty much looking at here is almost like a glorified dry line. Now once this cold front moves through, dry conditions can be expected tomorrow all the way on through Monday. So it is some good news too as well with this weekend setting up to be rather nice. So it's going to be a perfect weekend if you're going to the beach as you'll get a little bit of a sea breeze and temperatures will be a bit cooler along the coast. But again, this cold front moved through with showers and thunderstorms by this afternoon and evening. So let's take a look at the latest model guidance from the Penn State Wall website using the European model guidance for today. Again, the cold front moves through. Look at a passage between 2 and 6 p.m. over eastern Pennsylvania and the Philadelphia metro. And between 5 and 10 p.m. over the New York City metro. Showers and thunderstorms will be capable of some heavy downpours, occasional to frequent lightning, and wind gusts over 40 miles per hour. Temperatures will range from the mid to upper 80s along the coast and upper 80s to lower 90s in the Philadelphia, Metro, and Delaware River Valley. There is a potential here that we once again will not hit our uh, potential for a heat wave along the coast in the New York City Metro because temperatures just will not reach 90 degrees for three days straight. Interesting how that has continued to be a theme throughout this summer. High pressure will be in control for tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday, with scattered clouds to clear skies. Look for low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s, high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s along the immediate coast, upper 80s to lower 90s everywhere else. The big difference, once again, is the humidity will be significantly lower. Then on Tuesday and Wednesday, a series of cold fronts will move through the region with some scattered showers and possibly a few isolated thunderstorms. Low temperatures on Tuesday will range from the lower to mid 70s, high temperatures though in the mid to upper 80s. And on Wednesday, low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s and high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast 
and lower to mid 80s over the Delaware River Valley. So certainly we are moving towards a much cooler regime with temperatures falling back to below normal levels by the middle of next week. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather, and as always, stay safe out there.